Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. The roadmap has been updated. Let us take a look at the changes. As always, a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you so much for the support. And if you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. So this week's roadmap roundup was a very small one as the changes are minimal. And we will kick off with the changes to the release view. Now, hacking tech which was slated for Alpha 3.15, has been pushed back, unfortunately, to 3.16, which is the end-of-year patch. With CIG saying, development on hacking is continuing to make good progress, but after a round of internal feedback, we've made the decision to spend some additional time on this feature in order to release it in a more polished state. Now, this is obviously a shame, but as Chris Roberts did mention in his most recent video, they are trying to release features more polished and less in their tier zero states going forwards, which if they feel hacking needs that extra polish, then so be it. I would much prefer to have something that is actually useful and working in game than a lot of tier zero broken features that have no depth. Anyway, moving on to the progress tracker, we have two new additional features. The first one is proximity mine, and this says implementing proximity mines into the game which are explosives that have a defined area trigger zone and when someone or something enters that zone, the trigger is tripped and the mine explodes. Work on this lasts seven weeks, kicking off around mid-August and coming to a close at the end of September. So similar to the trip mine that we saw added a few weeks back and I am sure we will see many more FPS gadgets and useful equipment to aid on foot as development continues. Also, it appears that this isn't for Squadron 42, this is specific to Star Citizen, so we should see it in-game as soon as they're ready. Finally, we have the Male Specialist Heavy RRS Armor, which says creating an RRS Specialist Heavy Armor set, including its material variants. Now, this Heavy RRS Armor has only four weeks' work beginning at the end of August and finishing around mid to late September. Now we have heard about the light version of this armor, which has been in the works since the end of March, completing, it says, early September, and it refers to the light RRS armor as modular. Now I can't remember, I think this is the stealth armor, which is made up of fabric. It could be some other type of armor, but I'm pretty sure we saw this on an Inside Star Citizen a few months back. And with it being modular, do expect a lot of versatility and customization for its specific role. So that is this week's roadmap update. As I say, not a great deal of information there, which can often be the case. And it is a shame to see something like hacking get pushed back. But I am more of a fan of getting something more fleshed out, usable in game and working more as intended than these simple non-functioning systems that are just broken and then remain in game for months. But again, that is just me. With that said, though, we are at the end of the video. Be sure to come and follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrothersryan if you want to hang out and check out 314 and whatnot. You are all more than welcome over on Twitch. Hit that thumbs up if you don't mind. It does the channel a big favor and tick that notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. Again, thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.